Hello and welcome to the video where I will show you how to factory reset your Surface Pro. This is especially useful if you've lost or forgotten the password. Now doing this method is going to wipe all of the data from the computer. Uh, this includes photos, videos, music, you name it, it will all be gone. Um, so please be comfortable with that before starting. Okay, so what we need to do is first off just make sure the power cable is connected to the Surface Pro and the next step is from the login screen hold down the shift button and use the mouse control or you can use touch screen to click on the power button and then click restart restart anyway and just keep a hold of the shift button for a few more moments and we'll see a blue menu you can now release the shift button okay so what we'll do now is go to troubleshoot reset this pc and we'll go to remove everything removes all of your personal files apps and settings you can see it says please wait at the bottom of the screen And this is starting off the process. And we have a blue screen saying reset this PC, getting things ready. Okay, so it's uh, a fresh screen here saying, uh, giving you two options, just remove my files, use this if you're keeping your PC, or clean the drive fully, use this if you're going to recycle the PC. This can take several hours. Now I definitely recommend the first option if you're keeping the laptop. Um, it's a lot quicker and uh, this is the one I typically use. So let's just go just remove my files. Getting things ready. All ready to go. Make sure that your PC is plugged in. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts. That's the key thing for us on this PC. Any apps and programs that didn't come with this PC, any changes made to settings. So as long as you're comfortable with that, click reset. And this will begin the process of resetting this PC. Now this may take around 15, 10, 15 minutes. And um, what you'll see after that is um, the welcome to Windows where you choose your keyboard language. Uh, you'll be able to select a new username, a new password. And then you'll be able to log back in and you'll have full control of your Surface device again. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if you have, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know it's worked for you and lets other visitors who come to this video know it will work for them too. Best of luck. Thank you, have a great day.